this is how I change the power I see now let's remove it from this motherboard and then I'm going to change it yeah this phone is dead because of the power I see there is no current okay now I removed it so what is going to happen I'm going to replace it by another one the, the one that is working yes the one that I'm going to use is from another motherboard so let me clean where I removed the power I see yeah this is the time the time is for the cleaning action uh, as you see I'm cleaning with the a soldering iron yeah to clean well you, you have to use the weak wire this one that I'm using yeah, see this wire is called weak wire okay let me clean it yeah okay look at it look at it very well don't skip any step if you are interested yes okay let me clean it well yeah i finished to, to clean and then i'll I want to reboot the power IC. The new power IC must be reboot. Yeah, to reboot it, you have to. Uh, you must have a stencil and a paste. So darling paste. Yeah, the one that I'm using, as you see, I'm using the paste. Yes. Okay. Now I'm reboting this time it's for the ball yeah okay I finished to the ball now I finish let me clean it yeah okay you have to add the frax paste and the heat again so that the pads become strong yeah okay let me mount it again this time i want to mount this power i see you have to put frax paste frax paste on the motherboard so that the power i see or any other i see will be well connected on the power on the motherboard yeah now i want to install it again you have to adjust you have to adjust it so that the pad will be well connected without any issue yeah okay let's continue yeah. let me install it as you see i'm installing it yeah. you have to adjust your temperature and the airflow of your the workstation yeah. see the flux is melting because of the air and the temperature from the the from the look station yeah okay let me continue to hit up to hit up on to hit up over the power i see and then adjusting the power i see so that the part will be well connected between the power and the motherboard yes ok 
थे Now, after mounting the power IC, we have to check if the phone will power on. Yes. This battery doesn't have power. There is no energy in this, uh, this battery. It is low. Let me check the voltage from this battery. Look at them at look at the multimeter. Yeah, you see that there is no voltage. Yeah, it's low. The but the, this battery is very very low. Yeah, no voltage. So, as you see, this battery can't power on this phone. Let me use another battery from this 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 techno phone. Yeah, look at the the multimeter. You see that this one have 3.6 volt. Yeah. Okay. This will 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 power on this phone. You see, 3.6 volts. This will really help our phone to be powered on. Let me check if the phone will power on or not. Because we changed the power IC, the power management IC. This power, this IC controls the control all the power that is that is uh, helping the phone to power. Yeah, all the power that is traffic, that is the traffic of the power is controlled by this IC. Yes. Okay. Now we see the phone is powering on. Is powered on. Yeah. Okay. Now our job is well done. The steps to change the power IC is like this. If you are a hardware technician, you can contact me and 